Hey everyone, it's Innocent here and today I'm back with another video. In this video, we're looking at the 5 top apps that I tried and tested during the month of June. And this is coming up. Before we dive into the video, if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're old here, welcome back again. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so that anytime I post, you'll be the first person to get it. Now let's jump into the video. Coming up at number one is abstract wallpapers. I believe by the look on my wallpaper, you might be wondering whether I was using a OnePlus or not. Well, the, the truth is I'm using a Samsung, but then I just borrowed this wallpaper from abstract apps and it's the wallpapers from OnePlus. So this particular app gives you different types of wallpapers, abstract wallpapers, and then you can browse through the categories that from Blend, OnePlus, Paranoid, and so on and so forth. Either of them that you want to choose, you just have to click on this particular one and then you select the particular one that you want to use. Say this one over here, and then you can set it as your wallpaper straight from here without having to save it to your gallery, or better still, you can tap on on here to save it to your gallery so you just have to set it to your home screen or any one of them like that and then you are good to go it is absolutely free but then if you want to make some more like the topology and that of the vibrance some cool stuffs you just have to activate or just have to upgrade to the pro version to get access to all those wallpapers right there so coming up at number two is duplicate files. A lot of times we want to save space on our phones. These duplicate files comes through your phones to find out the duplicated images, audios, videos, documents, and other files. All that you need to do is you scan the duplicate images or duplicate audios and videos. And then this app is going to scan it out for you right from here. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, it is going to scan all these images. So you can see these images are all duplicated files. They are repeating themselves on my phone and they are taking a space of 104.94 megabytes. That's a huge size. So I'm just going to, it has been selected already for me. But then this is how it goes. You can select just one of them and then you can open the file, share it or delete the file. So let's select just one of them and go to delete so it is going to ask for a granting of permission so you you'd have to allow a couple of permissions to be shown and then afterwards you're going to remove the file for you so it is as simple as that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select all these duplicated files because i need space for crying out loud i need space so i'm going to select all of them and it takes some time to load and then it is going to delete for me so apparently the files has been removed and then um, it, it was left with two more so I had to remove it and I paused the video. So now if I come to my duplicated images over here, you can see from here that I have no other duplicated and I'm having zero files with zero bytes and zero size. So you can do this to save so many storages especially if you are somebody who uses your storages in as much as me. So that's it for number two. So coming up at number three is Heart Rate Monitor. So apparently when I saw this app, I thought it was just something that was there for, like it was something for fun. But then it actually works. You just have to put any of your fingers at the back of your camera. You can see this thing is blinking right over here. So you just have to put any of your fingers at the back of your camera. And then it is going to determine the BPM. Okay, let me know in the comment section if you know the full meaning of BPM. So you can see right here that as I'm talking, it is giving me a higher BPM. That is how it works. The rate at which your heart is beating determines the BPM that you are going to have. So basically, this is as a result of me talking, 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 right? So I'm just going to shut up and then put my hand at the back of this heart rate monitor and we are going to see the, mo the rate at which I'm going to be measured. So 
so you all can see from here that the rate has decreased so this particular thing is really working if you are talking or if you are running or if you are doing something the bpm goes higher and if you are very calm and you place your hand at the back of your camera it is going to determine it for you so to get the accurate one i believe you have to be very calm and very relaxed then you put your hand at the back of the camera and it is going to determine the ppm for you so this app is something that you don't need to go to the hospital or the doctor to check your bpm you can do it straight from your phone and that's it for number three moving on at number four is this minimal app called staff so staff basically helps you to organize your things according to your daily activities and the upcoming events that you want to do so you have to just select any one of them and then you're going to see what you have for the days okay so it basically works like a widget okay so it is saved on top of your screen if you scroll to the other side of your screen it is going to be there for you so you set your to do's for the day and you can set it for tomorrow upcoming so anytime you swipe to the right hand of your phone you're going to find this there and it keeps reminding you of what you have to do for the day tomorrow and the upcoming events so basically anytime you are done with one of these to do's you just have to go and select it and then you click on the completed over here so it is going to cross it out for you so that you can see the number of things you are done with and those that you are yet to do so it's as simple as that so let me just click on the uncompleted and then we are good to go you can do a couple of settings over here that you can do the auto clear complete tax that whenever you are done with a task and then you check it out as completed it is going to clear it off for you and then you can back up on your storage media as well so that is it you can do this couple of settings and then you are going to go so looking for a minimal to do list app i suggest you go for stuff so last on the list is a two-in-one apps okay so basically two-in-one apps means that i'm talking of this icon packs over here how do you see these icon packs they are super awesome when you click on them it is so very nice it is called the orioles icon pack okay so basically this is the orioles icon pack and then it supports some couple of launches that you can use so the reason why i said it's a two-in-one is because i'll also be mentioning this particular launcher that i find so interesting that supports the orioles icon pack so basically these are the supported launches that supports the orioles icon pack but then i decided to go for the solo launcher now this particular launcher is super awesome it it doesn't lag it, i love how the icons has been arranged it basically takes the icon itself and then add a couple of designs to it i don't know but this looks so nice to me and but at the same time it's very funny because it doesn't come with any actually designed icon over there it just picks it for instance telegram over here it's, it's using the same telegram icon okay but then it has included something like a circle under it and it makes it nice just like that it's so very nice at the home screen you can rearrange all these things if you don't want to use it so you can push this one over here you just have to tap and hold on it and then you bring it to anywhere that you want to use it the solo launcher is also very nice so you can try it out i'm sure i'm going to stick to this launcher and this icon packs for a couple of hours because i've really enjoyed using this particular launcher and that's it so those are my top five let me say six apps that i tried and tested during the month of june let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and which one are you going to try them out thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here bye